KCS for the week of the 10th of December. I'm Juliana and you're watching this week's news and updates. There were no dinosaurs coming to life in this event. On the eve of Thursday the 30th of November, five ACS visual arts students from grades 11 and 12 were invited to a special evening of culture at the Qatar Museum for Islamic Arts as part of the Qatar Museum's Teens Council. Our representing students were Myrna, Naila, Aljazi, Neil, and Rehana. These students were able to explore the museum over several hours whilst engaging in a range of art activities related to the museum's artifacts. The impressive indoor and outdoor spaces have been closed off from the public for this event and all participants received a certificate upon completion of the evening. Students reported the food was also very good. A big thank you to the Museum of Islamic Art and Qatar Museum's Teens Council initiative. ACS students will certainly be back for a visit in the near future. Sidra Medical are spearheading a program to introduce high school students to the genomics field. The program involves both theoretical and practical work that's conducted in the Sidra labs. The InGen program offers an enriching experience for high school students to explore the fascinating world of genomics and DNA sequencing. It aims to inspire and empower young minds by cultivating them with a unique opportunity to gain insights into this cutting edge field of science. Students had the chance to attend an engaging lecture by our expert instructors where they learned the fundamentals of genomics at the school. This took place on December 3rd where all registered students attended the lecture at the ACS Theater. What sets the InGen program apart is the two-day hands-on training at Citrus Genomic Core facility. Selected students actively participated in practical experiments, gaining valuable laboratory skills and insights into genomic research. They also got certificates, so attending 12 hours of gen ne genetic-related experiments at Citrus Research Center. Meet M. Tiny, our interactive little robot in early childhood. He's easy and fun to control and supports our mathematical thinking and media literacy through storybooks, games, and control cards. We can make him play music, talk, and draw. You think he's drawing it? Yeah. 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 What shape is he drawing? Card. A star. Congratulations to all grade 12, grade 3, 4, and 5 for fostering digital citizenship. Are you passionate about fostering a culture of academic excellence and integrity? On December 10th to 11th and 13th, a series of academic integrity sessions will be held for grade 9, 10, and 12. Discover how we are equipping our students with the skills to uphold honesty, cite sources, and navigate the digital realm responsibly. Let's collaborate to empower our students as ethical users of information. Together, let's advocate and champion integrity in education. What footprints are you leaving online? A digital footprint is a record of what you do online, including the sites you visit and things you share. It's your unique set of traceable digital activities, actions, contributions, and communications on the internet or devices. Digital footprints can be classified as either passive or active. Passively, a user's web browsing activity and information are stored as cookies. Active footprints are released deliberately by a user to share information on websites and, or social media. The use of digital footprints is the subject of many privacy issues. For example, without an individual's authorization, strangers can piece together information about that individual by only using search engines. Corporations are also able to produce customized ads based on browsing history.
It was an unlucky week for our girls' basketball team. JV lost against Gems on Sunday 41-31, and Varsity girls lost on Wednesday against ASD 49-22. On Sunday at 4 p.m., the girls' uh, junior varsity basketball team are playing against ASD, and the varsity girls are playing against Blythe on Wednesday at 3 p.m. Both are at home at, AC at the ACS Sports Hall, so please come and support us this week. And our first game of the season for the varsity squad against ASD unfortunately ended 31-72, to not in our favor. Last week, we had one football game against ASD boys varsity team, with the boys putting up a great fight. The game, which unfortunately had the score of 3-1, was not in our favor. On the 13th, the boys and girls varsity teams played by Blythe Academy at home. Hi, my name is Bowen, and thanks for tuning in with me. Fall Guys, formerly known as Fall Guys Ultimate Knockout, is a platform battle royale game developed by Mediatonic with up to 60 players. You can control a jelly bean like creatures and compete against each other in a series of randomly selected mini games, such as obstacle courses or tag. This game is rated E for everyone and is on all consoles. Welcome to Jokes of the Week. What do you call an elephant that doesn't matter? An irrelevant. <laughs> Where did Napoleon keep his army? In his sleevey. <laughs> what happens if a seagull flies over the bay? It becomes a bagel. <laughs> what kind of music do planets listen to? Neptunes. <laughs> That's all I have today and I hope you have a great week. Thank you for joining us for your weekly news and updates. If you have any idea for a new story or update to share, please email us at goodmorningacs at gmail.com. Have a great week.